Right then, there we are. We are back on. Right, I'm out messing about. Every time I do a live stream, you know, a bit, you know, what isn't going to work. For some reason, I don't know whether it's my internet or it doesn't like youtube just doesn't like streaming on on my phone or something i don't know um save all the bother we'll hop onto the computer um and do it um you know there's not no interruptions and stuff like that um funny thing was yeah before the stream i did think this is gonna something's gonna happen but i'm glad that it the stream shut down only two minutes in rather than like you know halfway through um, once I've really got into it, because that'd be really annoying. Right, yeah, Jason's back in the chat. Hi there, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, for all the people who won't have seen the last bit, you know, when we're catching up, um, I went out to the car boot fairly early this morning, got there. Uh, I thought I got there quite early, but it turns out that it was on earlier than I expected. Um, but I still managed to get some great stuff, um, and I was still about a reasonable time, so... Um, as, I, as I was saying, I will now uh, proceed to share with you what I got. Um, we have got Finch Fashion Plus in there. Uh, lots of lag from here. Uh, you see, I thought that. I was looking at my uh, screen here, and I thought oh, it's a bit of lag. Oh, it's gone now. It's gone now. Uh, anyone else in the chat? Is there a lot of lag? Doesn't seem it on this end now, but you can never tell at the end of the hoster. Um, let me see. There's not really much I can do with the settings. Um, right. Hi, all. Charlie from CNH here. Just got an iMac, so able to start making videos and hopefully better videos. In the process of editing a whole huge Lego haul. Hope you are well, lad. I am. Yeah, it's laggy. Oh, someone's saying it's laggy. Uh, someone else is saying it's laggy. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Hmm. Let me let me just check. Let me just check something. Let me close these down. I think I might have an inkling to what it is. Shut that down. And maybe that might. Um... Your resolution is low and frame per second rate. Not the best quality. Oh, for God's sake. Always does this on me. Always wants to do this. Right, okay. Let me see. The thing is, I'm in Google uh, Hangouts, so I can't change anything, really. There's not a lot I can do. Uh, control room. Because if I was in OBS or something like that, then I could change things and stuff like that, but... I'm not in OBS, so I can't change anything. Um, right, I might have to just come on. Um, better. Oh, someone said it's better. All oh, right. I don't know. Looks fine to me, someone's saying. Oh, Jason's saying. If it's bearable, we'll continue. If it's not bearable, I will. If if this thing that I'm shutting down right now doesn't do anything to the quality, then I'll have to record it or something. Oh, some a lot of people are saying definitely better now. Well, okay, cool. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just continuing to shut down this program. I think it might have been this program that was running. I think it's using quite a bit of my CPU or something. I don't know. I'm not a tech guy, but I think it is using quite a lot of. Uh, of something anyway so yeah i think that was what was making uh think it was a lag spike seems to have gone now mm. well i don't i don't know i don't know right anyway we'll get on with it um i will show you while well, i was at the harry potter there we go right there we go that program is shut down now so if it was that that's completely gone so hopefully it was that and we're, we're, we'll all be all right so I will share with you my car boot finds. I will not, uh, you know, ramble any longer, and we shall get on with it. Upgrade your PC ads. You know it makes sense. I think your graphics card can't handle you anymore. Yeah, I know I do. I need to. I want to do an upgrade of your PC. 
Um, I want to get like a, I've got a PC, well, I've got a desktop at the moment, but I don't know whether I want like a, a better, like to upgrade my desktop or whether I want to um, get like a really good laptop, like, you know, one of the uh, sort of like a gaming laptop or something like that, uh, that level of quality. Um, Cause then it's, then it's portable as well. Um, because I've had a desktop for a while and I like it, but the portable element isn't there. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll leave it there. So I'm, I'm not rambling any longer. So as we're saying, Lego Harry Potter 3862, first pickup of the day. Um, and I paid four quid for it. Now there is a problem. There is a problem. There is no baseboard in there. Um, but I thought even at four quid, for spares or for something, someone's going to pay more than that. And I know that this Harry Potter Lego game is fairly sought after, so I couldn't leave it there for four quid. I'll be able to do something with it, sell sell it for parts of something and get some money out of it. I believe that this, um, well, let me, I've got my phone on me now, so I can scan things in uh, because I'm not actually doing my live stream from my phone. So one second, let me scan this in. I think this is the one that I, I might be restricted in missing Amazon, actually. I don't know whether this was the one I was restricted in. But, oh, no, I'm not restricted in. Um, yeah, this is the one on Amazon that goes for 50 quid used and 90 quid new. And, and we're not even at Christmas yet. So, yeah, um, so it, it does have some good value. Just unfortunately, it's unfortunate that I've not got the base plate. And there is water damage to the box as you can probably see there and can cave in and stuff but i wasn't gonna leave it behind for that um right let's do let's do this thing this is um the other day i don't know if it was yesterday or the day before so he had a video about him getting a i think it was yesterday he uh, him getting a 350 pound rc car with a remote and i saw this and because it was fresh in my mind I saw, oh yeah, two channel, um, and it look, you know, it, it has channel, channel one, channel two, or something on here, and it looked like an RC remote or something. So I decided to pick it up for three quid. Um, I looked on eBay, but a bit up and down. Um, there's one listed for twenty five, but most of them have gone in that sort of twelve. I think about twelve to eighteen pound bracket. So I'll do okay with it. Um, but obviously because that was fresh in my mind, I thought, oh yeah, I'll pick that up, I'll take a chance on it. So yeah, that was that one. Uh, now it does work, but like, I mean, well it doesn't work, but I mean there's, there's lights on there. The only problem is because it didn't have the car and I asked him, do you have the car for it? And he said no. Um, but because it doesn't have that, is that a viable test? Like just putting them lights on? It, to me, that's not fully, obviously that's not fully tested. So I can't really sell it as such. So I might still go there. But anyway, I, I got that for three quid. Um, I got this um, rather cool, and this is just a cool item. It's not necessarily very valuable, but it's quite cool. It's a Metoy product, uh, Walt Disney Movie Viewer. Don't know how well you're going to see that, but Walt Disney Movie Viewer. I think it's got some sort of cartridge. Oh, yeah, here we go. Some sort of viewer cartridge thing in there i don't know don't know quite how you work it it's not in the best of condition but i can clean it up i paid three quid oh i don't think you're gonna see that but i paid three quid um one is sold with something else for like five quid plus postage but then another one that looks very very similar to this if not the same has sold for 25 so it's really up and down. I don't know. I've, I've got to do a bit more research into it. But just a cool vintage item that I had to pick up. Um, so that was that. I'll just put them over there. Um, I got these Jurassic Park official movie cards plus gum. And they are sealed packets. I imagine these are vintage. Yeah, they are vintage, aren't they? Yeah, 1992. Um, four pound I paid for them. Yeah, I was hoping for more than they're actually worth. Like a full thing of these, but uh, with this actually sealed up as well. Like this box is fully sealed. It's gone for like ten pound something plus postage. I don't know. I might shoot a little bit higher and uh, hope for the best. But 
Oh, I mean, I might be able to tell the... Well, I don't think I'm bother selling them singularly, actually, but maybe in smaller bundles or something. I don't know. But there'll be a way of getting some money out of that. A little bit of a fail, but it's kind of a happy fail because it, if you'd like a cool item, you know, cool vintage item. So I'm not really bothered because it's like a cool item. Um, but that was that one anyway. Um, right, so that's that. Um, right, Sims 3 stuff. I paid £10 for the, this job lot. Nice little stack there. Uh, the base game and seven expansions. Probably get about 30 quid for that, maybe a bit more. Um, I'm not sure. I've not checked prices recently, but I did have a bundle uh, probably about two months ago now that I sold for 30 quid. And I think that had either six or seven expansions with it. So maybe 30 quid, something like 35 maybe, but I'll have to double check on prices, but that's those anyway. I don't know quite whether the lighting's very good, but you can see, you know, Sims 3. Um, and then also included in the £10 deal, were, I just, you know, I chucked that in um, and, you know, we just did a deal, £10 a lot. Um, and that goes for 13 quid on Amazon. Not sure whether I'll send it in, although I think it does have a reasonable wank. So although it is under my £15, I'm tempted to send it in if it's got, well, I'll scan it in now, but I think it has got a reasonable uh, reasonable wank. So let me just scan it in. Should do. Oh, yeah. See, it, it, it sales rank in video games is 201. So for me, even though it's under £15 under my little bracket, it's worth sending in because it's such a fast seller. Um, so I might just send that up for 13 quid. So, yeah, that's that. Um, right, we're, we won't do any more video games quite yet. We will move on to something else. Um, another sort of thing that I thought would be better than it was I've been picking up these Casios used, and maybe not this exact one, but I thought it was this exact one that I've been picking up used. And I've been getting like eight, seven, eight, nine, ten pounds for certain Casio calculators. And I was thinking, oh yeah, this is brand new and sealed, probably gonna be like 15, 20 quid. I probably will get a tenner out of it, just about. So it's, you know, it, I paid £1.50. It's just about worth doing. Probably about £4 net when all said and done. Um, but I just, you know, I was hoping for a bit more. But uh, So I was a little bit disappointed on that one. But it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm still in profit. I'm still, I'll still make something. But then I scan it into Amazon, and it's only a five on Amazon new or six quid on Amazon new. But for some reason, eBay is achieving more with this calculator. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, some people on eBay are managing to sell that for a five or plus postage used. So yeah, I don't know. A bit weird. Sometimes I'm eBay is more than Amazon though. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, does that not come with a baseboard? Oh, Jason says that Harry Potter game doesn't come with a baseboard. Well, that's what she said to me. She said, um, she said it doesn't come with the baseboard. So I just assumed it had a baseboard in, but originally, you know, um, right. Uh, I have the same. Check the instructions. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, because that might be complete then. Um, question. Are you bagging used games items for Amazon? I bag most stuff used in bags to seal them up. Um, yeah, this is a thing, really, isn't it? I um, I used to send up, like, uh, what am I trying to I used to send up DVD box sets, and it was a bit of a failed experiment, to be honest. The video games worked a lot better, but at the same time, I was sending in DVD box sets, and they were used, and they were in cardboard sleeves, a lot of them. Like, you know, the house DVD box set. I think that's in a cardboard sleeve and stuff. Um, and I, what I would do, quite foolishly, is I'd put the label, and I know you're not quite meaning this, but I'd put the FBA label onto the cardboard. Now, if someone tries to get that off, it's very hard to get it off, if, if not near impossible, to get it off without ripping the cardboard. And a collector of an item, yes, okay, but yes, you know, maybe they're not going to collect something like that, but there are DVD collectors out there. A collector wouldn't be particularly happy to receive that and then try and peel the thing off and it or rip the cardboard. Um, but in terms of, like, just bagging things, like, you know, DVDs and um, used video games and whatnot, I mean, I only really bag consoles, Um I will bag games that have loose cases and stuff like that so they don't come open. But generally, like, you know, Xbox games, things like that, I don't bag. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, I don't bag a lot of stuff. Um, but I've, I, I think Amazon are going to be a bit more. They might become a little bit more stringent on their sort of uh, preparation rules and stuff like that over the coming months and years. I don't know. I'm just sort of speculating. But yeah, um, we've got Alan in the chat. Hi there. We've got uh, Gary Nicholson. Afternoon, ads and everyone. Hi there. Um, so yeah, shall we get on with it? We shall get on with it. I picked up from a stall a job lot of Nerf guns for a fiver. Really happy with that price. Going to make some good profit on it. I got this one, which is a, uh, as you, well, you might not be able to see, but it's a dark type gun, does it say it on that side? Yeah. And it's a blue one. Now, I've pulled this back, and it does fire, and it seems like it has a quite, quite a nice mechanism. If you can hear some hoovering going on, that's my mum, so I'll just try and close this a bit more. Um, but yeah, so that's the blue one. I've got a red one as well somewhere. Yeah, got a red one there. Um, and they, someone, I think someone's got about 15. That's including postage. It was like £10 and four or £5 postage. So if I get that for them, then I'll just about clear my investment. Um, I got um a vortex now i don't know whether there's any bullets for this i don't think there is actually so i'm gonna have to try and source some bullets for this um you can either like take this clip off here if i can get the blooming finger you can take that clip off there and you could probably sell that separately for some money um probably just shy of the ten or something like that but i'd have to do some more research um or you could attach it to the gun if it's worth it um, I don't know what this particular gun goes for, but actually, saying that, is this is this in working condition? This one, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe that one's not in working condition because I can't I can't pull that. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that a bit more because I'm not really. I, you know, I buy Nerf guns every now and then, but I'm not like mega clued up on them. I don't buy them loads, but. Yeah, so I don't know. Something's stuck there or something's happening, so I need to sort that out. Um, what else did I get in the job lot? I got um, two uh, two or four of these vests, actually. I might go out some more somewhere. Um, ah, I think we're over here. What? Right, yeah, here we are. Um, yeah, I, did, I got two. I thought I got four of these, but I got two. Um, so that the two of those, and they go for again about around a tenner, maybe a tenner plus postage. So that was quite nice. Um, and then I got one of these little piddly guns that really you need to bundle up with with another gun to, you know, if you got maybe two of these, you might get sort of thirteen quid something like that. I'll have to do a bit more research on prices, but I think I'm almost on point with that. Um, so yeah, that one was in there. And then I got a load of bullets. I got a load of bullets in there, and I got that clip, which is a an 18 one. That might be worth selling individually, actually, uh, because it is, as I say, the larger one, the 18. I think the normal ones are a six, the clip size. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then, as I said, I've got well, I said a load of bullets. Really, there's probably about seven or eight bullets. Uh, I've got a couple more in the bag there as well. Um, but I was fairly happy with that. I mean, I'm a bit disappointed with that. I didn't see that, you know, when I was picking it up because I was just grabbing it. Um, and sometimes I'm like that. I, to be, you know, to be quite honest, I um, I get very quick and I'm like, right, I've got to get it in the bags, get it in the bags, you know, and and just that's that. But um, still, even with that like that, I'll make good profit on the rest of it. So you can't really complain. Um, so that that uh, oh yeah. This was all right. This is brand new and sealed, and on Amazon it's going for twelve pound merchant fulfilled. So I'll probably shoot for twenty on Amazon FBA. Um, so yeah, and it's got a uh, it's like twenty two thousand in rank, so it's not terrible at all really. Um, so yeah, that was quite nice. Uh, whoa, we've got a few people joining the chat here. One second. Uh, uh, Hi all. Cool to watch slash list at the same time. Oh God, there's loads of chat here. Uh, what you and do what? Yeah, what you do is send them up in a plain box and stick the FBA label on the plain box. Ah. Oh right, have you just chatting? Oh right, okay, I get it. 
do, 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 do. Oh, God, the chat's jumping. We're getting to that point where everyone's jumping in the chat and you can't plumbing see. Right, um, hi, Z. You uh, thought you would be playing with your car. Lol. Um, yo, Ads, what's up? Just watch the comedy short for a straight 10 out of 10. Thank you very much. It seems like a lot of people have enjoyed that. Um, and, well, hopefully we have anyway. I mean, I, as I say, I've not really had a chance to, well, I said it in the past video, I've not really had a chance to check all the comments, but I have seen them ping up, and I've seen, like, the first little line of them, and most of them, well, I think all of them actually have been positive, so I'm really happy about that. My job, in a sense, more, more in my spiritual job, is to make people laugh, and the best way I've, I found to go about that is it sounds a bit weird, but I've actually learned over my life that the, the, the biggest laughs that you get from people are not when people are laughing with you, but when people are laughing at you. And, you know, it's like the great comedy sketches like Laurel and Hardy and things like that. Um, when like people are getting hurt and like slapstick and stuff like that, you get the best laughs from them because you know, it, it's a real funny sense of humour. Um, it, it's just like, uh, it, it's just one of those laughs that you can't prevent. You you just laugh instinctively. Um, and that's kind of what I want to do with a comedy show. It's a bit of slapstick, a little bit of um, kind of, you're laughing with me, but also at the same time, you're laughing at me in a sense. Um, and that, I think, is the best way to go for the comedy shorts and i really do love doing it really I, I absolutely love them so i'm really glad that there's good feedback from them as well so anyway that was that one i won't ramble anymore you always hear me ramble about comedy shorts so yeah um why what have we got in here oh we'll do them in a sec i've got now this is one of the only items i've not researched as well actually it's a leap pad i, I have had these before I, I got one in the auction job lot, actually, and if I get this out, uh, one sec. Now, I only paid two quid for this. I thought, God, that's cheap, you know, two quid. So I thought, I can't really go far wrong for two quid, but it's a Elite Pad Plus writing from Leapfrog. Um, and if I push that down... So obviously what you do is you stick your book on there and then you've got your little pen and stuff and the sounds come out and things like that. As far as I'm aware, that's what it does. Um, and I got it in this really nice case and I got it with, I don't know whether you're going to see this very well, but I got it with a ton of books and a ton of games in here. Oh God, they're all falling out. Anyway, I'm not going to show you any close to that because some, something's going to fall out or something. But um yeah, so a load of books and a load of games. So I thought, as a job lot, that I should be able to get some money out of that. Maybe sort of fifteen to twenty quid. I don't, I don't know because I've not done the research on that. But I think that's got to be, got, got to be fifteen quid. That surely for that little job lot. But I don't know. Um, so that was that, and I was happy with that one because it, because like I always think if you're paying a quid or two for something, it's very, very hard to go wrong, especially with something like that. Um, so, yeah, I was happy with that. Um, right, one second. I've got to go over to the other side. Oh, no. Oh, God. If I can even get it out. One second. Now, this is a little bit dirty. I'm going to clean it up. Well, I'm going to have to clean it up a bit. It's not terrible. Um, there's just a few bits of wear here. And, yeah, it's just a bit bit dirty around here. But I can clean it up, no trouble. A bit of elbow grease and that. I don't know whether you're going to see that. But, um, but I can clean it up, no trouble. It'll just take a little bit of time to get in all the nooks and crannies. Um, this is a Sony. Again, this is like the third week, uh, second or third week on the run. But I've got Sony. It's crazy. It's like I, I don't usually find it that much, but I seem to be finding it quite a lot recently. It's a Sony CFD-V177L CD radio cassette recorder. Um, and I've seen one of these go quite recently, actually, within the month of August for 
if I can get it cleaned up enough, then I might shoot for that. If not, I might shoot for 25 because, as I say, there are a few points of wear and stuff. But if I can get it cleaned up enough, then I'll just go for the 30 or maybe even a bit more and see if I can't push prices a little bit. But we'll see anyway. But that was nice. That was a fiver. So I couldn't say no to that. Um, so right, I've just got to go around the other side. I'm just going to check the chat, actually, before I do. Um, it's going to have jumped. Oh, my God. It's jumping. It's jumping. Uh, do, 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 do. Whoa, the camera is freezing up loads. Oh, no, not again. Oh, God. This is terrible. Um, right. Is it, can anyone tell me if the camera's freezing up, like Peter says? Because um, it's just like one person's end. It can freeze up, unfortunately, but sometimes it can be everyone. Um, right, that's a lovely item. Add, is that, uh, I imagine you're referring to the leap pad. I don't know. Um, Good lad, did you go cabbie this morning? Da, 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 da. Well, I'm listing while I speak. I need to get listing. I shouldn't be on YouTube. I need to get listing. It's terrible. Um, lol, the RC stays. No, I was good and stayed home. We need to list on eBay as we had zero sales this weekend. You know what? It's been slow for me as well, Z. I mean, don't know what it is, but it's been slow. Well, actually, I do know what it is. I've not listed that much, but... Still, you know, I've got a fairly sizable inventory. You would think some, some, you know, a few things would shift. But, I mean, I've not had no sales. I've had a few, but there have been, you know, real bread and butter items, not nothing amazing. Um, so, yeah. Well, I mean, I think I've hit my target for the month anyway. Um, right then. We've got Hyper Pickle in there. Hi, guys. What did I miss? It looks like everyone else... It looks like... Um, Everyone else seems it seems to be okay. The camera. Um, Peter says, "How much you spent today? One hundred and three pounds and fifty pence exactly. That was how much I spent. No entry fee to this boot sale. It was a one-off boot sale." Um, I am. De oh, here we go. Question: Do you have a granny trolley or bags? I've just got a suitcase and changed my life. I have uh, a granny trolley. I have bags. Um, the thing I would really like to get back again, I did have some Ikea bags a while back, and I really want some of them again because they're nice, they're good. Um, right, anyway, I'll go over here and we'll get a couple of couple more items. Um, right then. So, my favourite pickup of the day. My favourite pickup of the day. Do, 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 one second. Is not the contents of this box but the box itself, because I've always wanted one. It's a Royal Mail size guide, small parcel size guide box thing that we use in the post office. Now, I don't know how current this is. I'm going to have to measure it to, to make sure that it actually is in line with the guide guidelines, you know, the current guidelines, but I imagine it is. So I'm really happy. So that is my fave pickup is just the box itself, not what's in the box, although what is in the box is... Fairly okay as well. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Now, I took a punt on this stuff. It's not really my scene. It's not really stuff I... It's not... I mean, I like it, and I understand why people like it, but I don't really see it often. I don't, I'm don't. i not really that bothered about picking it up. So I just took a punt. It was 20 quid. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe, and I think there's going to be a bit of profit in it. But I don't think I'm going to make tons and tons and tons and tons of money off it but i think there is still a bit of profit on it in it um so first off is this forces of fantasy a warhammer supplement so that was in the job lot now i've seen that this is the only thing i've researched out of it very quickly before we came on uh, and i've seen that go for 21 quid so i can at least get 21 for it if not maybe 25 or a little bit more so that's that one anyway so that's that um I got then a rather beaten up, oh sorry, now that's two things there. I got, most of these are a little bit beaten up, but that's obviously because they're old, um, or older anyway. Um, we've got barcodes on, so we're not mega old, but um, yeah, this Warhammer thing again. I don't know what it says on here, what's it saying here. Vampire counts skeletons, so I don't know what that means. It's something to do with the army, but I don't know. Vampire count skeletons. 
I thought it meant vampire, a vampire counts the skeletons, but no, that's not what it means. Um, but there's that one anyway. That's, these have got to go for some money. It's Warhammer stuff, you know. Um, and then we've got Warhammer, Zombie Regiment. This one game's workshop, obviously, these are. So Warhammer, Zombie Regiment. Uh, again, boxes aren't great. And then I think, yeah, the final thing in here is this Warhammer... And what does it sound here? Tomb King's Battalion. Now, I did research this while I was at the boot sale, actually. And I couldn't really find this box on there. Like, I could find a lot of the figures inside on eBay and in the sold. But I couldn't find, like, the complete set on there. I, I don't know. Maybe I need to do a bit more in-depth research. But, well, I will do. But, yeah. Anyway, I, I don't know. But there's got to be some money in that. Got to be some money in it. Some, I'm sure there's some guys in the chat there who know a bit about Warhammer who are probably saying, oh, you've got something crap or you've got something good. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's that. Um, but I know that I'm safe with that one anyway. So, I'm, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, and also, I've got my little box. I mean, I would have paid a fiver for this box. Honestly, I'm that insane. I would have paid a fiver. Um, so that's that. Uh, one sec. Right, get these. Right, so I'll just flick on to the chat again. What is your monthly target? I've said this hundreds of times. It's three thousand pound turnover. Now that is only turnover. It's not net profit or anything like that. Um, but yeah, as I say, I think I've hit my target this month. I don't know. I'm not hundred percent. But I do think I have hit it. Um, I think I hit it on about the 24th or something. But recently, the last sort of three to four or three to five months, it's been increasingly more easy for me to hit that target. So now I'm starting to think, well, really, come next year after fourth quarter, I'm going to have to start upping my target in the slow months um, because it's starting to, you know, starting to reach that target more easily. Um, and certainly the, the business is really ramping up in scale um, and in what I am, you know, how much, um, you know, efficiency in, in productivity I'm putting in. So, you know, maybe a year ago I was putting in the same amount of time, but now I'm putting in the same amount of time, but for higher value stuff. So actually my efficiency with my productivity is increasing um which is a good thing so yeah um i use a granny trolley and get a shed load of toy barn house uh massive and big oh right is that a play oh right i get it um and big bags as they are great get them for uh get them due to more, my mum working there uh vampire counts skeletons i believe are from 2003 oh well they're not going to be great are they um well, there might be. There might be some money, but it's not like 80s stuff or something. Um, is all the Warhammer stuff inside the boxes? Warhammer and Warhammer 40k go for loads, to be honest, even if uh, even if in battered boxes, I think that's meant to say, or even in battered boxes. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly, I didn't check because I'm a risky guy like that. I just, I, I knew the guy who was selling them to me um I, I know him through uh well I, I, i've known him for quite a while you know I've known him for about two years so because i knew him and we've done a few deals in the past i was kind of a bit more happy with that um i was kind of a little bit more uh relaxed with the whole deal but i am a very risky person at the boot sale anyway i generally don't check a lot of stuff i try to but i don't um Question, what, when, what are you hoping to set your cabinet target at? Very good question, actually. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I really have no clue. I don't think setting a target right now is the best thing to do. I think the best thing to do is put my deposit down, uh, put my deposit down and then put my, sorry, you, what you have to do is you have to put your, you have to put two months down. So you have to put your deposit for your second month well, I suppose it's not really a deposit because you're just putting down your second month. But um, I suppose it's more of an advance, isn't it? But um, you put your second month down and you put your first month down. So what I'm going to do over the course of like two months is I'm going to see what it's performing like. And then after maybe two or three months, I'll be thinking, right, 
what is a good target to set for my cabinet because I really don't know at the moment and there's no point me setting a target of a ridiculous figure um, and then not achieving it only to get disheartened when actually really I am still doing quite well but I just I don't feel as if I'm doing well because I've set an unrealistic target so I think what I'm going to do is hold off on on you know setting a proper target um, per month until I actually I've got a bit of a feel for it because I don't even know what I'm putting in there is saleable. Well, I mean, I know it's saleable, but I don't know whether it's going to be saleable in that market or in that in antique center specifically. I need to judge that on my own. So, yeah, it, it's quite a hard one, really. But um, I was I was hoping, and I don't know whether people are going to think I'm insane for thinking I'm going to get this amount back from a cabinet every month. But I was hoping for about 300 quid a month. Um and provide, you know, I, I pay me 30 quid for my cabinet. Most of the items going in there are above 20 quid. Um, and that's kind of what I was hoping for. Maybe I'm insane. Maybe you only get, maybe the average for a lot of people is only 150 out of the out of the 30 quid or maybe even 100. I don't know. It, I suppose it really depends on what you get putting in there. But that was kind of what I had in mind. Um, but now I'm thinking, well, it's just best not to set a target. Um, right then. Uh, oh, Lisa's going. Bye, Lisa. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, enjoy enjoy the rest of yours, Lisa. Um, right then, I will get what what else? Oh yeah, these down here. Sorry, I'm rambling again, aren't I? Um, Furby. Now, obviously, we all know about the Furby booms doing really well. And uh, I've, ever since Nick mentioned that on the videos, uh, on his videos, I've seen Furbies everywhere, and I've been picking them up and. Um, you know, I, I I didn't know about this one. I was unsure. It isn't a Furby boom. So then that made me think, oh, you know what? It might not be that good. Um, but it's in its box. It is a, well, it's not a new release, but it's a 2012 release. And I was thinking that actually could do okay. So she had two of these. She had this one and she had, an, oh, it just fell open there as well. There he is, or she. I don't know. Would you call these she or he? Like, Furbies, for me, not that they're a girl's toy, but if Furbies had a genre, a, 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 genre, a, ge a gender, I can't even speak today. If Furbies had a gender, for me personally, a lot of them would be females, um, just because that's how I see Furbies. I don't know why that is. It's like when you look at cars, I can look at a car, and by the headlights, I can tell the, uh, the gender of the car. It's very odd. Um, but yeah, to me, so I don't know. Anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling about that. It's not Thursday talks. Um, so yeah, I paid two quid each for these. Or did I get get a down? No, I know I did. I paid two quid each for these. And yeah, there seems to have been one sold for fourteen pound fifty plus postage. That's the only one that sold of, of this exact design because there's very similar designs and. You know, there's ones that have sold for, um, you know, about a similar price, but different designs. Uh, but there's only one sold of this specific design. Um, and as I say, that was for £14.50 plus postage. So I'm happy with that, even £14.50 plus postage um, from £2 each. So, you know, not not too bad there in the end. But I, I, was, a bit, I was a bit hesitant on that deal because I was thinking, oh, you know what? might not be very good but even so it's only four quid right we'll get on with the rest of it i don't think we've got too much to do now um right we've got a load more games we have uh the the ps2 game for 50p i got four for two pound um jacks two and jacks ten i think that's yeah jacks x so i imagine that's jacks ten uh don't know on value of those I imagine I'll just bundle them up on eBay. I don't, I'm not going to get loads. I know they're not worth loads, loads, but, you know, they're a bit better than your FIFAs and all that. So it might be worth just doing the two as a bundle on eBay. I don't know. I'll have to double check on prices. Um, we've got a Spyro for 50p. I was happy to pick that up, even though it isn't the PS1 version, but you know what I mean. You know, it's still a nice little find. Um, and this will probably get me about 13, 14 quid on Amazon, something like that. And it'll probably have a good rank, so I'll send it in, although it will be slightly less than my 15 quid. But if it's got a really good rank, then I don't see the point in not sending it in, you know, so I'll, I'll send that in. 
Um, and that is Spyro, A New Beginning. I'm going to pick that one up because I've never really seen it before, but I don't think it's anything uh, Curie Curie mix. But if it's not anything, that's cool. I just picked it up just to see. Um, uh, now, all these these four were 10 quid, so made a bit of a... Um, uh, what was I trying to say? Made a, a little bit... Took a little... That's it. That's what I'm trying to say. Took a little bit of a punt on these. Um, now, The Amazing Spider-Man 2... For some reason, it's got a 1,200 rank on Amazon in video games, which is good. It's a good rank. That's a solid rank. And used condition, merchant fulfilled, it's at 40 quid with no FBA offers. So I don't know what's going on with that game. But the thing is, like things like that sometimes make me think, well, is it actually selling? Um, but obviously, if it's got a 1,200 rank, Surely it is selling, so I'll have to double check on Camel Camel Camel. Maybe the price has spiked recently or something, and it's not actually selling for that value. But maybe it's just a rarer title on the PS4, it just seems a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I got these for 10 quid. So if I do get 40 or 50 quid for that on Amazon, I don't know whether I will, but if I do, um, then yeah, that, that's great, you know, that paid for the lot. Uh, GTA 5 again, another copy. Uh, yeah, as I say, twelve ninety nine on Amazon, really, really good wank, so we'll probably send it in. Lego Marvel Superheroes, I think that was about 12 quid on Amazon. I might send it in or I might eBay it, I'm not sure. Um, and then Star Wars Battlefront, again, that was included in the deal for 10 quid. Goes for about 12, 13, maybe 14 on Amazon, something like that, I can't remember. Um, but I did scan it in. Um, but yeah, 12, 13, 14. So, you know, I've got a few, I've got a fair bit of value in those games there. Um, so that was those. There is another. Oh, here we go. There is. Here's a really good one. This is the Amazing Spider-Man for a PS2. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 for the PS4. It's got its little band around it. Um, the only problem is, and here's the annoying thing, is it's got that. Now, I know I'm very well aware you can try and align it in and press it in. I've tried for about 10 minutes and it won't go in. I'm really going to try. I'm really going to try and get that uh, in place. But then even if I do, I won't send this into Amazon. I do not like sending in sealed games or sealed DVDs that have had their disc rattling around inside them. Even if I, if I sent this in, I would, you know, if I was going to send this in, I would actually take the seal off and just sell it as used, because I'm that paranoid. I don't like doing that. It's not a good way uh, to be on Amazon, in my opinion. Um, so what I will try and do is clip the disc back into place, sell it on eBay. Now, someone has achieved 60 quid for this new on eBay, and someone's got one listed for 109. Uh, now, there's other sales, actually, that are at about six quid, um, but they're like weird sales. I don't think they're, they're like... <laughs> you know obviously the genuine sales but i just think there's something a bit weird about them i don't think it's quite this so yeah i think i'm going off the, the higher value ones because that's where i feel the most genuine value is is predicted really i think that this is a higher value game and that the lower value sales are maybe a little bit dodgy or something um but you know what i don't know i'll have to do a bit more research um but still, I paid, oh, and I paid eight quid for that. She wanted 10 originally, um, but I managed to get her down to eight. Um, and I did scan it into Amazon, and I did know that the disc was, you know, not in, in the position when I bought it. But I kind of just figured, right, I'll, I'll take a chance on that. So that's that one anyway. Um, I did notice that someone has got £37 plus postage used on eBay as well quite recently. So... Worst comes to worst, I have to take the seal off and then I sell it used for 40 quid. From eight quid, I'm happy with that. Um, right then, where are we? No bank holiday here in H, uh, HK. Oh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Um, but we did have a monsoon warning from our Met Office. Wow, a monsoon warning. Um, right then, what else? Oh, I know. I think. I think we've only got one or two items left now. Um, right then, so... Oh, no, we've got a few more items left, actually, in this bag. So I've got two of these caps. I've seen Z pick these up quite a lot. So 
I kind of thought, oh, yeah, these look quite nice. And because I'm a bit into hats as well, I, I kind of had to pick them up. Uh, he wanted £2 each. I managed to get them for one fifty each. Um, that one's got some sort of tag on. Um, and they are quite well-made hats, so a bit more quality. Um, and then this one's got some sort of thing sewn in there, like, you know, a little patch or something, result headwear. Um, I don't know. And then it's got the little Shimano on the back there. I'd be hoping for sort of £10, £10 plus postage on each one. But I don't know. I'll have to do a bit more research. Um, but some of these can do quite well, actually. Some of these can get some good money. So we'll have to see on those. Um, and that one says Prodigy. So don't know whether that's referring to the band or not. Probably not. Um, but, yeah. So that's those anyway. I got them for 150 Couldn't leave them behind, really. Um, I got... Two DS charges for a quid each because. What are you doing? Yeah, she's there. Right, I'm just doing a haul. She's just there. She's, I'm just doing a haul. Right. Um. So two DS charges for a quid each. I only pick these up really because I do I do snipe a few DSs off eBay. I do snipe them in other places as well. And you know sometimes you don't come with charges, and it means that I can actually snipe them now because I've got the charges. Um, and I don't have to pay like eight quid on eBay for a charger. So, yeah, I thought I'd pick them two up for, for a quid each. I could probably sell these on eBay and get sort of eight to ten quid, something like that. But I'm not going to do that. I'd rather just keep them. So that's that. Um, and then, oh, no, we got a PS3 pad for two quid. She didn't have a console, I did ask. She didn't have anything else, uh, you know, video game related. She just had that pad. Don't know. It's a bit odd, isn't it, that when people only have like one pad, it's like where, where's the rest of the stuff? But yeah, anything could have happened. Um, but yeah, so two quid. If I can clean it, you know, clean it up a bit, uh, get it tested and working, I'll probably get like 20, 30 quid or something for that on Amazon. So yeah, quite happy with that one for two quid. Um, and then finally, a nice little job lot. This was I did pay up for it. Um, I paid twenty six quid. When all said and done on Amazon, going off Amazon prices, I should get around 100 quid for it, maybe 80 to 100 quid. Um, that's obviously before fees. So this is video game related. Um, so this is a DS power supply, an original DS power supply, that black one there. Um, with where it, wherever it's gone, here, down here, with the original silver console, now, I don't know what this was going for again on Amazon. I forgot. Oh, there we go. It's come on as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's, can you turn the brightness up on these a bit? I don't know. I don't know what I mean, turn the brightness up on these, but it just looks... It's not terrible, actually. It's not terrible. It's okay. Um, but... Basically, I think these go for about 30. Yeah, I think I think it was 30 I saw these go for um, on Amazon FBA. That'll be with a charger. Um, and I don't think there's anything else in here. There is a little pen, another little pen. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in that bag. And then it's got, you know, a little Nintendo bag with it that I might sell separately or something. I don't know. Won't be much money in that bag, though. Um I then got, again, included in the £26, I got a um, Game Boy Advance, uh, the Glacier one, the clear one, uh, which is quite nice. Now, I just realised then that I didn't see there isn't a battery cover, which is annoying, which is annoying me. But you could probably pick one up for a couple of quid on eBay, so it's not... It's not terrible, you know, it's not going to be a, a, a disaster to my investment or anything like that. Um, and that came in that little case. Um, and then finally in here, she did throw something in as well, actually. Where was that game that she threw in? Where was that game that she threw in? I'm trying to find this game. Oh, there it is. Uh, and then she threw in Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land uh, on the Nintendo Game Boy. It's hard to tell with Game Boy games whether they're fake or they're genuine from a glance like that. You actually need to unscrew the back there and check whether they're fake or genuine. There's some great videos on YouTube in showing you how to do that. Um, but I mean, 
I wouldn't know from the I wouldn't know from that way. The, the label's a little bit off, which makes me a bit suspicious. But other than that, it's not terrible. The printing is okay. I don't know. I'll have to open it up to check, really. But if it's fake, unfortunately, then that's you know that's just unfortunate. But I didn't actually include that in my totaling up. I just thought I just like threw that off as fake anyway. Um, you know, just in case it was fake. Um, so yeah, don't know about that one. But I'll have to double check. And if it's real, I don't know what we go for. I think maybe a ten or something like that. But yeah, that's that one anyway. Um, and then another charger comes in here. This is a DS charger. And that comes with the DS, uh, the lime green DS light with the lime green pen that's in there. And I don't know what else it was. There was something else with it. Oh, here we go. And then there's some weird sort of headphones. I don't know what brand they are or anything. I don't know whether they're official Nintendo. And then it's got some booklets or something in here. One sec. I'm just going to... The reason I'm getting this out is because she said there was a couple of games in here. And I've not checked the games. Um, oh, also, there were some games in that bag down there. One sec. Let me check the games. Oh, the blooming Brain Training and 42 all-time classics. Not great at all. Uh, let's check the other one. Oh, I don't think there's anything in here. No, nothing in there. But in that other bag, there was a few crappy games. I'll check. Let me check. But what? There was some games in here. One sec. Oh, it was in here. Yeah, it was in here. There was a few. Well, they're not. They're not anything. But there was a couple of crappy games in there as well. Only crappy games. So. You can't really add much to the total for that, and I wasn't including them in the total. But still, that was that. So I walked away like twice from this deal. I was like, I was like, umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing, umming and ahhing. And I was thinking, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I mean, I kept going on Amazon when I was walking around a boot sale and totting it all up and thinking, well, I can get 30 for that and get this for that and get this for that. And then I was thinking, you know what, just go for it, you know, there's enough money in it, because that, li oh, sorry, I didn't tell you, that Lime Green DS goes for, there's, uh, the FBA offers start from 44 quid, so, you know, I could wait till Christmas and probably push a little bit more on that, so, you know, if I get my money out of it in that DS, in that Lime Green DS, then the rest of it's just profit, so I thought, don't be silly about it, just take a punt on it, just get it, um, and then, see what comes of it and i think there'll be some good profit in it but um i was i was really umming and ahhing i was like oh i don't know i don't know and then i kept thinking well what if another reseller buys it and all this you know and then you, your mind just starts to spin and spin and i thought it's my right i've just got to make a decision i've got to go yes or no so i went back to the store and i said right i'll take it because you she wouldn't come down anymore unfortunately but yeah um well still get money though if it had Every little helps, yeah, of course it does. I mean, even if I get, say, 80 quid off that 26 quid, it's still good profit, it's still decent profit, and uh, then I can use that money to reinvest into other things, you know. Um, but it's one of them things that, you know, sometimes you just can't leave, you know, DSs and stuff. Um, but that's that. So that is my entire haul, I think. I don't think there's anything else. The cat is asleep on the bed randomly. Uh, she always, she's always asleep now. Um, so I'll leave it there. I'll get some stuff listed today. I really need to get a listing actually. Tomorrow, obviously, it's posting day and stuff, and and, uh, and also I need to get really cracking on tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, one second. I seen one DS today. Girl wanted sixty sheets, sixty sheets for it. Lol. I walked away. Yeah, and that is that's too much. Sixty quid. Oh my god. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother for that. I mean, even this, and this is this is two DSs, a, a Game Boy Advance, and a few games, and I was still only an hour in it, twenty six quid. So, sixty quid for one is no way. Way that's like way above market value. That's crazy. But you do see that car boots. You know, I'm no stranger to that. So yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much. Oh wait, what's that? Add a game. I'm a gaming collector. My also. Might snap your gaming items up and make you some decent profit. 
you can if you want you can contact me on facebook down below uh, there'll be a link down below very welcome you know i'm happy to sell to people i'm happy to buy from people um but yeah so just drop me a link down below if you if you'd like to do that i will make sure to give you in detail pictures about condition and stuff like that so then you're well aware um right then you had a good deal fella enjoy the listing we'll be fine uh, list those games 99p each and 95p postage on automated auctions they're free still for shops it's feedback for it ah right okay i didn't know whether someone would pay like 99p just for a single ds game like that some like i normally do like bigger job lots with the you know with the um crappier ds titles and they seem to go all right like that but i've never actually thought about doing that way you know just blasting them out on an auction and uh yeah doing it that way that could be that could be decent um but yeah so i will leave it there guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up i will be back very soon probably on what day are we today monday probably on thursday let's say thursday um i may be back with a whole video of some description in the next week um but or, you know other than thursday talks but i really don't know i don't think i'm going to be doing much picking up in the next week or so I will be going to a car boot next Sunday, um, so I may do a whole video for that, but other than that, I won't really be doing much sourcing. It's just listing. If you could see that other room, you would be oh, mind blown. It's just terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much, and see you very soon.